Hey guys, welcome back, and if you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Melissa, and today I have my weekly grocery haul for you guys. Today I went to Target, and as you can see, I bought a ton of items, and as you can see from the thumbnail, I did buy a bunch of pumpkin items. So I'm gonna show you the regular items first, and then I'm gonna show you the pumpkin items, because as you can see, I just could not fit everything on the table. Um, I have a few, I think a few new vegan items as well, so if you're one of my vegan followers, I have some new things to share with you guys. Um, and like I said, lots of pumpkin things. I also took a bunch of pictures in store as well of some other items that are, some are vegan and some are not, you know, cause I welcome, you know, everybody to my channel because we have a family who is, you know, half vegan and half not. I also do the vegan keto diet for over a year and a half. It is unbelievable, unbelievable. I've lost almost a hundred pounds. Um, eating a vegan keto diet for this long. Um, I have a whole playlist. I will leave linked right above here in the iCards. I will hopefully soon be doing an update for you guys um, so you can see how my progress has been. Um, I'm still waiting my results from my doctor from my blood work and stuff so I can, you know, like, let you guys know. I know a lot of you guys have asked me about that. I will also leave the prices, if you're new here, I do leave the prices on the screen for you guys and I will leave the final price because sometimes I use uh, coupons as well as the Target Cartwheel app where you can get discounts taken off of your items and I also use the Ibotta app which I will talk to you more at the end of the video because I just want to get into this and not have a long long intro as I sometimes do. So let's get into this. Let me show you what my regular items and then we're going to put this away and I'm going to show you all the fun pumpkin items that I got as well. Right, so I'm going to start over here and if you're one of my regulars you know this is like almost in every grocery haul but the Beyond Meat. Um, I do still have um, a bunch of Impossible Meat I think still from a couple weeks ago. I've kind of been shopping like every other week lately and just kind of stocking up. I know we did a big like you know back to school grocery haul and I went to like um, I think it was yeah two stores. Anyway so I picked up some more Beyond Meat because I just love it so much and they just they don't always have it available and this was on sale as well for $7.99 so I thought that was a great price. I got two of them. Great macros if you do you know whether it's vegan keto or regular keto really great macros on that. I also got more of the Impossible Meat because this was an, um, an Ibotta deal for $2 off. So I thought that was a great deal as well um, because, you know, this I don't want to say this stuff can be pricey because, you know, regular meat is pretty pricey as well. So it was $2 off of each one. You could get up to, I believe it was up to four of them. Um, and I think there was a cartwheel deal. I think there's a cartwheel deal as well. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. Last week was the Ibotta deal or two weeks ago when I had purchased it. This week, there was a cartwheel deal for 20% off. Sorry. And I got confused. So I do still have left, some left over, but for that price, I stocked up and I got four because with the cartwheel, you can usually get up to four of the items. Sorry about the confusion. Um, over here for the boys, because they are the meat eaters, I got them some Angus, uh, the Bubba Burgers. And I don't know how many are in here, does it say? Six, there are six of them in here. I also got some buns for them as well, so they can, you know, so we can do a burger night. I usually do mine uh, bunless, um, but I got these for them, the farm, the, what is it, Pepperidge Farm farmhouse rolls. Um, I also checked out their clearance, clearance shelf. Um, you kind of have to look on the back end caps. I mean, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Target and they keep their clearance. Um, but I thought this was really, you know, a good price. These are some dried pinto beans. I usually do these in my, I don't have a crock, a crock pot or a slow cooker, but I have a rice cooker that can also be used as a slow cooker, if that makes sense. Um, I believe it's from the Aroma brand. I got it on Amazon. Anyway, so I will cook the beans up in there. They come out really good. I put a little bit of salt in there. Um, so I just like to have these on hand and I figured for $1.25 price, that was good. I got two of those. Um, let's jump back here because I have all of my creamers. If you see my Target hauls usually is when I stock up on all my creamers, especially doing keto. I love having this stuff on hand. Um, so this is the Silk Dairy-Free Half and Half. I've had this many times. It is so good. Um, I'll just show you the macros really quick, quickly because I know some of you guys like to see, um, but there are zero net carbs for that for one tablespoon, 15 calories. Uh, let's see who picked this out. My husband picked this one out because you can see there's two different ones here. Um, he wanted to give this one a try. This is the salted car caramel um, Starbucks creamer and this one does contain dairy and this one does have some carbs in it as you guys can see but he does not follow keto diet like I do. Um, and then my daughter picked this one out as well. This is the Starbucks non-dairy creamer. They had so many new creamers. Um, like I said, I did take some pictures and you will see at the end of a lot of the new items that were in store. Like I said, be some vegan and some not. Um, but this was the caramel macchiato one. And I'm not gonna show you the macros on everything guys, but I just figured I would give you a quick peek there in case you were interested in that. 
Um, another regular item, which they had been out of the last few times. I guess everybody's drinking this lately, but it's been on a really great deal. It was a cartwheel deal as well as an Ibotta deal. And I also had dollar coupons as well. So this is the unsweetened Simply Almond Milk. They do have a vanilla one and they have a sweetened one as well, but I always get the unsweetened because um, the carbs are so much better. As you can see, one carb for a whole cup of it and only 50 calories. So I got two of those because you could get up to two of those. Um, the hubby also wanted some Honey Nut Cheerios. If you're one of my, you know, old school or one of my OG subscribers, I should say, one of my OG subscribers, um, you will know um, we usually get this for him for a snack and we have not gotten it in quite a while. Um, so I got a huge box of the Honey Nut uh, Cheerios. I also found on clearance some instant grits. I thought that was a decent price as well. This was requested as well. So luckily I found that on clearance. Um, I also got some uh, oatmeal as well for the family. This is the lower sugar maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal. The market pantry brand, Target brand, was $1.52. I thought that was a really great price. You get like 10 packets in there and I did get, there are two boxes of those. I also got some granola. My daughter's been um, enjoying snacking on granola lately. Uh, so I got her this one, the Nature Valley, big and crunchy. It's like got the bigger like kind of chunks of uh, granola. And I believe this was um, a cartwheel deal as well. I think you got like a dollar back off of the purchase. And I think this is a good price too. I think this huge bag was only like $3 and change. And then I got the, two do uh, the dollar off as well. So really great price on that. Um, if you're one of my regulars, you know, or OGs, you know, the value pack. I got the builder bars for my husband for his lunches. I got the value pack this time. And I think these were like a 10% cartwheel as well. So I got a little bit extra off of them. Uh, let's jump back down here real quick. Um, my son requested some grape jelly. So I got him the Welch's natural. The ingredients on this are not too bad. Um, as you can see, there's no, um, you know, it's just sugar, lemon juice, grapes, fruit pectin, you know, pretty simple. Um, so I figured that was a good one, you know, because some of them have a lot of like, you know, added things in it that you just don't want, you know, the, the high fructose corn syrup and all that stuff. So, you know, try to be careful and watch for that as well. And this one is non-GMO, which is great also. Um, also got some kosher hamburger dill pickles to go with the burgers for burger night. If you do keto, these are awesome. These are zero carbs. Just be careful. Some pickles do have some added sugars. So just be careful, but otherwise pickles are a great keto keto snack. Also got some vegan butter for you, one of my regulars, you know. We love this. This is the Country Crock plant butter with almond oil. They also do it with avocado oil and olive oil. Um, and this is a great price at uh, Target. It's only $2.49. Um, I was also craving some greens. I did not get a Misfits box this week, so I just grabbed a bag of some hearts of romaine lettuce just to have a little bit on hand. Uh, let's see. I also got my daughter. She loves these Justin's um, peanut butter cups, and these are vegan in case you um, are wondering. I think they also come in milk chocolate, and the milk chocolate obviously is has dairy in it, but the dark chocolate ones are completely vegan. <clears throat> and these were, <clears throat> excuse me guys, and these were a cartwheel deal as well. I think they were like 10 or 15% off, so that's why I grabbed them so she could have a little treat here or there. I also was excited to finally find my, the Miyoko's, not mine, but the Miyoko's Creamery, which is an awesome, awesome brand, the Cultured Vegan Mozzarella. I have a subscriber, oh, goodness gracious, her, the name is on the tip of my tongue, I, and I can't remember her name. I'm going to put it here, uh, uh, I'm not going to put it on the screen, oh my goodness, but she knows who I'm talking about, but she has, she messages me all the time on Instagram. And I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name at the moment. I, my, my brain is just frazzled at the moment. Um, and it always leaves me the kindest messages on, like I said, on Instagram and here on YouTube. And she has been suggesting this to me and I've been trying to find it. And I'm so excited that Target finally had it. This is a lower, a little bit lower carb vegan cheese. A lot of the vegan cheeses are pretty high carb. Um, so I kind of limit the times that I have them. So she had mentioned how this one was a lower carb, and as you can see, the total carbs are three, and there is one gram of fiber, so it is only two net carbs for an ounce. A lot of times, some of the other vegan cheeses are like four, five, six, even like seven or eight um, net carbs for, or just carbs in general, for an ounce. So I was very excited to find this. Um, it was a little bit pricey. It's a nice size little block there, but I'm really excited maybe making some like keto uh, pizzas with that. Let's see, I also got my son some plain cream cheese as well, but I forgot to buy him bagels. So he's just gonna have to hold off until I get him some bagels. 
Um, I also got this. I've gotten this before. This is the original bitchin sauce. It's just made. Oh, I hope I don't get. I hope I don't get demonetized for saying that. But anyways, this is the. It's an almond dip sauce. It is very low net carbs. I believe it's only like one and a half. Um, one and a half net carbs for like two tablespoons. No, total carbs 1.5 and then the fiber is one. So it is only 0.5 net carbs for two tablespoons. I love having this stuff. It just adds a little extra flavor, a little fat to, you know, whatever dish. You can even like dip celery, you know, all kinds of things in it. And it is very low net carb. I love it. Also, I've been trying to find tomato paste and it seems to be impossible lately. I don't know why. I found some on clearance, thank goodness. So I just grabbed four of them. They are 38 cents each. I usually get it at Aldi's, but last time, last week when I went to Aldi's, as you, if you saw that video, you know that it was, it looked like the store had just been rummaged through and they just had like nothing in the store. It was so crazy. So, um, like I said, I usually get it at Aldi's around the same price. So thankfully I was able to find it in Target. Let's see. I also got, let me move this out of the way, some honey chai turmeric tea, which I just realized now honey obviously is not vegan. So this is not a vegan item, but this is a um, turmeric vitality tea, sweet and spicy blend. There are the herbs that are in it in case you are interested. But like I said, there is honey as well or honey flavor. I don't know. Is honey flavor considered the same as having honey? I don't know. We'll have to look into that. So not 100% sure if this would be vegan or not because like I said, is honey flavor, is that just a flavoring or is that an actual honey in there? Because it doesn't seem to, oh no, it does say vegan right there. Sorry guys to go on and on, but there is the little label right there. So it is just a flavoring. So this is 100% vegan. I'm so excited um, because I love turmeric and I love chai tea as well. So looking forward to giving that a try. Let's see, another new find that my daughter and I spotted, um, and she always loved yogurt, and she loves the non-dairy yogurts, and she spotted this one. I, don't, I always forget how to say this. Is it we, we? Um, dairy, uh, they usually have a regular yogurt. It's by Yoplait, but they now have a dairy-free one. It is coconut-based, and as you can see, it has a fruit on the bottom. So she is excited to give that a try. So let me know down below if you guys have tried it and you know how what your thoughts are on it. Or she's always wanting to she always tries all the new vegan yogurts when they come out. I also got two of these kind uh, nut butter bars. These are in, like in the cold section, like by the produce, in case you go looking for them. Um, they have to be refrigerated for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so I got two of them. They were a I bought a deal and a cartwheel deal, so that dropped it down to a decent price. I also, if you want, if you want to write my OGs, my regulars, you know, always got to get some chocolate. I always have a nice supply on hand at all times. So this is the Lily's Sea Salt and Extra Dark Chocolate. Just be aware, not all Lily's is vegan. Just check the ingredients. Um, so I just got two of those because there was, I think, 75 cents back on the Cartwheel app. Let's see, we're gonna jump back here. Sorry guys, I wanna move the camera too fast. Um, I also got these for my daughter, the Morningstar Vegetizers. I got her the popcorn chicken. There was a dollar back on Ibotta, as well as I think like 10 or 15% off with the cartwheel as well. So I got those. And then I also got her the veggie sausage pizza bite. She loves these. They also come with the vegan pepperoni. She prefers the sausage ones as well. And these same thing, cartwheel and Ibotta deal. You could get, I think you could get up to five. We just got the two because she has you know, got all the impossible meat and stuff like that as well. Also for the boys, I treated them and got some really decent, you know, eggs for them for this week. Um, and these were 25% on the cartwheel as well. So I figured it was a great time to get them. I know these are, you know, a lot of people rave about these Nellie's free range eggs. Um, I know I have not shown eggs in quite a while in our grocery hauls. Um, if you're one of my regulars, that was something we always had because my boys eat them all the time. Um, we had been get somebody had been giving us some over the over the summer, so I just really didn't need to purchase them. So, but we are running low, so now I have to start buying them again. So I got, like I said, I got the other really good ones this time. And then last thing, I think last food item until we get to the pumpkin things, I grabbed these. Um, these are sort of like I guess like the the Target brand of the Lara bars. Now, these are a little bit carb, um, I don't want to say carb heavy, but these do have some carbs in them. I'm trying to find the label here. But I have started to do some carb cycling. Um, I've been watching Nicole Burgess. I've been really inspired by her, um, you know, over the last like year and a half. I think she's been doing keto just about the same time that I have been. She is at her, you know, her goal weight. I am getting close to my goal weight. Thankfully, um, but you know once you get close to that goal weight it is a little bit harder to you know lose, lose those last few pounds So I am going to try to start carb cycling. I'm on my second week 
and not to go on and on about this, but I'm on my second week just to see if it'll start to trigger a little bit more weight loss because I've been at a stall for quite a while. Lost inches, but haven't lost any weight. Um, so I just thought this would be like a healthy thing that I can, you know, maybe incorporate into those higher carb days. You know, pretty decent ingredients there, as you can see. Um, so I just figured this would be something that I could have on hand for those days. And my daughter, she might like those as well. So let's see, then I have a few non-food items. I know not so thrilling. I got the Target brand of the Zyrtec because if you've been watching my videos, I don't remember how many weeks ago it was, I, I said how I was suffering some from some, um, I don't know whether I'm allergic to something or if it's just, you know, just the change of the season allergy. Um, but I wanted to give this a try and see how it worked, you know, and I know I had asked you guys, you know, give me your recommendations of, you know, anything that you have done for any sort of allergies and still not 100% what is causing it. But I'm going to try this and see how it is. I've been doing the Claritin. It doesn't really seem to be helping. So I don't know if there's a difference between the Zyrtec and the Claritin. Let me know. I don't really take any of this stuff very often, but I seem to be suffering lately. So we're going to give it a try and see how it is. I also bought some more masks. I know it's a problem. I need to be fashionable. I just loved this bright pink color because I think it looks like it's, I guess it's, um, you know, reversible. So it has like the leopard print on this side and then it has the bright neon pink, which I absolutely love. And then it, it ties, um, it has the two ties as well. So I'm going to give this a try. It was only $4. And then I also got from my daughter, um, I had purchased these for myself. I probably showed them on the channel, the red and black buffalo check. And it has one black one in there as well. And these are only $4. So if you're looking for inexpensive masks, and these are the kids ones and I use them. They work really, really well for me. I find the adult ones are way too big for my face, even though this one here is an adult one. So we'll see how it works. Um, but I got that one for her. I am on the lookout for a white and black Buffalo check one. So let me know guys, if you find any anywhere, cause I am searching for a black and white one. Um, and then the last thing, I know it seems this might seem very random, but I wanted to, I, I needed some leggings for the new season. Now we're going into fall. So I happened to see a display with these are kids leggings. So since I have lost so much weight, um, these seem, now I didn't try them on, but when I held them up, they seemed like they would fit. Um, I got the extra large, these are the size 14, 16 girls leggings. And you know what? These are so much cheaper than buying the women's ones. So we're going to give these a try. Um, these were only $6.00. So, you know, sometimes, you know what, if you can fit into the kids stuff and it looks exactly like adults, buy the kids ones because it is so much cheaper. I just did that recently with a pair of sneaker Adidas sneakers. They look just like the adult ones, but because my feet are so small, I was able to buy the kids ones and they were probably about $20 cheaper. And these are the Cat and Jack, just in case you are interested. There is the barcode in case you are interested as well. And in case you're interested in what size I'm wearing, I know I'm not one to usually say what size I wear, but I am wearing like a size six borderline size four. So that's why I figured this hopefully should fit. I might've even been able to get the large, but I don't know. We'll see how they are. They may shrink up a little bit, but like I said, buy the kids stuff if you can fit into it because it is so much cheaper. All right, guys, so that is everything for, you know, the regular items. I'm going to put this away really, really quick. So if you want to pause for a second and go get a snack um, or a drink, I'm going to put this away. And then I'm going to show you all the cool pumpkin things that I got as well. All right, well. guys, so are you ready for all the pumpkin things? I know we are all here for it. We all love fall. I think most people seem to like fall. If you like a different season, let me know down below whether, whether it's fall or a different season. Let me know what your favorite season is. And you know, if you want to tell me why it's your favorite season, leave me a comment down below because I love hearing from you guys and getting to know you guys. So anyway, so here are the few things. Like I said, not a ton of things, but I did take a, a bunch of pictures you'll see at the end. So I did get some of this silk pumpkin creamer. I was so excited. It actually is pumpkin spice. I saw Nicole Burgess, I know not to mention her again, but I love her, I watch her channel all the time. Um, but she mentioned how, you know, she's been doing the non-dairy keto lately and she absolutely loved this. So I was so excited to find it in Target. They did actually have another one, so be careful that does have um, sugar in it. So be careful, make sure you get the unsweetened one if you want to reduce the amount of sugar, whether you're keto or not. 
This one is zero carbs, 15 calories for a tablespoon. So, so excited. This was actually a cartwheel deal as well. So you could get up to four. So I bought four because I was afraid if I go back, they are going to be all out. So we are gonna, I'm gonna be stocked up on my creamers for quite a while, which is what I usually do when I go to Target. I also found the Califia one as well. If you're one of my OGs, you know I love the Califia milk. It is one of my favorites. So this is the pumpkin spice smooth and creamy creamer. No sugar added. This is better half, basically, you know, it's like their version of half and half. Coconut cream and almond milk. Here are the macros for you guys in case you are interested. Zero net carbs, 15 only 15 calories it's actually two tablespoons is their serving size so i usually use more than that i will admit i kind of just i just pour it i mean it's no carbs so um i got two of those as well and this was a cartwheel deal as well i also in the dollar spot grabbed these cute little socks these are not really pumpkin but halloween um for my daughter and i i thought they were adorable purple is her favorite color and if you guys know we love cats so i i grabbed one for her and one for me i just thought they were so cute they are the knee socks as you can see they are pretty long they'll obviously be you know more so knee so knee hawks knee socks for her than for me but i just thought they were so cute i couldn't resist them they had some other ones as well um, I also got some, I needed some paper plates and these were actually cheaper than the regular ones. So I figured why not get the cute little pumpkin ones and be, you know, to the season, so to speak. So this is the 60 count heavy duty, um, really nice, you know, durable paper plates. You know, sometimes you just got to make life easy and use paper plates, you know, especially now that we are all back to work and school, it makes, you know, makes life a lot easier. I also got the small ones as well. I thought these were so festive. There are 75 in here as well. I love the orange color. And then I also got these cute little pumpkins. I did take, take some pictures. They had, ooh, these were in the dollar spot. And they had some other colors as well, like a teal. And I forget what other colors, but there were, I, like I said, there is a picture. You'll see it at the end. But my theme is mostly, um, throughout my house, normally is like gray, white, and black. And I kind of stick to that theme when it is fall. I have a lot of like black and white pumpkins. I just love the look of it. It's just very modern looking. So I just grabbed two of these. I thought these would be a great addition to my already expanding pumpkin collection. I have a thing for pumpkins at this time of year. And if you guys are one of my regulars, you know at Christmas time, I have a collection of Christmas trees. So stay tuned for Christmas time so you can see what we're gonna do with our trees this year. I'm sure it's going to be something different, but I am a little obsessive with this stuff. So I've got two of these, like I said, a nice addition to my pumpkin collection. And then a few um, other food items. Um, I saw that they had the pumpkin spice Cheerios. Now, I'm not a big Cheerio fan, but um, I wanted to give these a try and I thought this would be a somewhat healthy item, I guess you could say, for when I do my carb up days. Um, you know, just, and I figured I would give them a try and I the figured, I figured also the family might want to try them as well. And these, I think these were a cartwheel deal. Um, you'll see the price on the screen, but this is a huge box. It is the family size, limited edition, of course, because it is pumpkin spice. You know, like I said, it is, you know, it is not keto friendly at all. Um, but I just thought this would be, oh, and there it goes, be something fun to try. Um, next thing I got was some pumpkin spice granola. I figured this would be something else that my daughter and I could have. I could have this on one of my carb up days, you know, something, you know, somewhat healthy. Um, and it was on clearance as well for $2.96. Just be careful if you are one of my vegans and I don't think this has honey in it. Um, I think it has the yeah, brown rice syrup in it as the sweetener. Um, be careful sometimes. Um, they always have honey in there as their sweetener and kind of their like the binder. Um, so just be aware of that. But this one doesn't seem like it does. And this one is the Good and Gather, which is like the um, you know Target brand. And then one last thing, I got the Dunkin. Uh, Dunkin Donuts or just Dunkin I guess they call it now pumpkin spice ground coffee if you're one of my regulars you know I am a Starbucks girl all the way but I had a coupon for this as well as there was a um, I think it was a cartwheel or I bought a deal or might have been both actually um, and it dropped it down to like I don't know like four or five dollars so I figured for that price it's not too bad we will give it a try and see how it is and you know I'm all about everything pumpkin spice so hopefully this will not, you know, this hopefully this will be good and um, I will enjoy it. I do have a ton of um, the pumpkin, pumpkin coffee still from last year that I had gotten from Clarence at Walmart. But like I said, I just want to give this a try. I figured for the price, could not resist it. Let me know if you've tried it down below. 
um, and what your thoughts are. Alright guys, so that was everything for this grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out what I got and I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the pumpkin items that I purchased. Like I said, stay tuned, watch at the end. I have a ton of pictures that I took of some other items in the in store. Like I said, some vegan, some are not. And even I took some pictures, a few pictures I think of some non-food items as well. So I'm going to put those at the end so you guys can check out the fun things that Target has available for fall. Um, I also wanted to recommend to you guys, not sponsored, um, if you want to join Ibotta and have not joined yet, I have a link down below for you guys. You get money back when you purchase items in grocery stores, pretty much. That's basically it. You know, buy certain items and you will get money back. I've seen thousands of dollars over the last few years. So I have that link down below. If you use that link, um, you will get $10 automatically entered into your account when you um, do your first rebate. So you, you can't beat it. And I just absolutely love it. I recommend it to everybody. And another great one as well is Fresh Rewards. That one, all you do is scan the receipt, get points, and you can trade it in for gift cards. I always use it to get my, I get Amazon gift cards all the time. And I use it to do my Amazon shopping because over these last six months, since we've been in this pandemic, I've been doing a lot of Amazon shopping. So it has been quite helpful and I think when you sign up and use that link you'll get like a two dollar I think it's like two dollars or four dollar bonus um basically so every point is a penny out of the points and you know like I said you get you some gift cards and every little bit counts when you're trying to save money and eat well and you know live a well-rounded life you know that's basically what my what I'm here for guys is to show you that you can get all of these things live abundantly for less so Check out those links below as well as I have a whole bunch of other links down there as well for you guys to help you guys save money on a whole bunch of different things. So if you're interested, they are always linked on in the description box down below of all my videos. If you are new here, I would love for you guys to hit that red button down below as well and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy grocery hauls, my grocery hauls or, you know, any grocery hauls or just like listening to me talk too much sometimes. <laughs> and if you don't, give me a thumbs down it's fine I don't mind as well but um like I said make sure you subscribe before you leave I got, hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and until next time I will see you soon bye guys